Welcome at a webinar that's dedicated to a new version of IOFROG that we are going to release uh, hopefully on Sunday. This webinar is uh, hosted by uh, Simple Hardware. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, just please, can you confirm in chat window that you hear me well? Perfect, perfect, thank you. So let me start sharing my screen. So hopefully you see it just quickly. Yeah, audio is good. Yeah, thank you for the feedback. Thank you. Thank you, Bonjour. Uh, Gildas, ah, thank you. <laughs> uh, nice to see you here. Uh, all right. So last couple of months, uh, we've been working on a new release. We tried to utilize a lockdown period. Um, that was um, interesting for us. So we what we did is we tried to well, we, we are trying to focus more and more on B2B customers and to support customers that have large number of devices. Uh, and uh, yeah, then they require just more support in, um, in the management and organization of large number of devices. Up to now, you know that, um, uh, I'm sure you are familiar with the current version, uh, up to now, uh, when you wanted to share a device with uh, somebody, you register it under your own account as an owner. Then you created an account for accounts for, for other users, and you uh, share devices from your account with uh, somebody else. It was super easy, um, convenient, and it, 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 it works, but if you have a larger uh, number of clients, large number of, uh, of devices, you need to manage, it became very, very limited. So uh, from this reason, we decided to restructure a data in a database and we introduce the groups as a new entity in, uh, in IOFROG. The groups are here to organize uh, devices in a G-like structure. And uh, uh, probably all of you are familiar with backend uh, sigfox.com uh, that organizing millions of devices uh, today into, into groups and device types. So we tried to get inspiration from backend sigfox.com, what we already know and what is already working, and introduce a similar uh, kinds of relationships uh, into, into IOFROG platform. So the groups are here and all devices after the migration will uh, become to, or will be assigned to the group. And there is a one rule uh, and it says that one device can be assigned only to one group. So it's really like tree-like structure going from top down. The, there are many advantages. Um, even there is like more complexity now. Um, we try to uh, to hide this complexity and still provide you uh, easy and simple interface so you can work with that. And I hope that like ninety percent of our end users will not recognize the big changes after the migration, but the big change, but, but the big benefits. Um, are for uh, for people that manage large number of devices, who are our partners and manage the partners, manage partners account, etc. Et so back to the groups, uh, we uh, one 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 device will be assigned uh, to one group only, and it's a tree. So if you have as a partner, for example, uh, if you have a uh, access to other subgroups you will be able to freely switch between the subgroups and uh, see devices in the same way as your clients see. So for example, if you manage uh, five, six uh, big clients, then now you can group devices to five, six uh, groups 
and then you can go down through the tree and change the group based on what device based on what client you support now or or you need to manage uh, at at that moment, right? Uh, I will show you in a, in a in a, in a preview app uh, in a moment. Just let me go through the uh, through the list of changes now. So uh, yeah, we have a group, we have a device that is uh, that belongs to one group, and then we have a users. Up to now, there was a direct relationship between the user and the group, uh, so and the device. Now it's completely split. So what we have is uh, we have a we have a device inside a group, and then we have a user that has uh, specific access to the group that contains devices. And uh, you will be able to set different kinds of user access uh, permissions uh, for devices inside the group, right? So one, so this is a second thing we introduced with IOFROG 2.0. So there are groups, and now there are uh, users that have permissions uh, to the groups. Then, um, small change, uh, we renamed uh, categories to text because we, we, we believe that text is better naming for what we used to call categories up to now. Uh, just a small thing. Um, and then the, the big thing is that, that benefits from, from the groups is now when you have devices attached to specific group, then now you can uh, you can define and manage the group features on a group level, and they will be applied to all devices inside the group. When I'm talking about group features, I mean things like tags, uh, forwardings, notification rules, uh, what else, public channels, etc. So as, up to now, at this moment, you had to define it and assign it to device. It was fine when you have five, six, ten devices. When you have one thousand, one one thousand devices, you know it was useless, and we had to do it using uh, uh, using uh, some change request, uh, and it was it was it was not a fun. So now you have groups. Uh, you ha you have a you have a device inside a group, and then you can specify for wedding just once on a group level. You can specify notification rule on a group level and automatically apply to all devices inside the group. So later, when you add a new device to the group, or if you remove device from the group, you do not have to touch uh, tags, public channel, uh, forwardings, uh, and other, other features that are related to the group. So uh, hopefully, this is going to be a big uh, big plus. Uh, the next change uh, highly uh, requested uh, are, the change, are, are the changes related to notification rules. Uh, from next release, you will be able to specify multiple uh, recipients. You will be able to specify a message templates, so you can change the text that uh, will uh, go to a specific recipient. Uh, you will be able to uh, set a specific um, uh, specific conditions uh, under which the notification should be sent. Up to now, there was only one possibility. You were able to choose uh, actions that you want to react. Now, it's not just an action, but you can use all information that comes in the message. So if the message from specific device said temperature, pressure, light on, off, or any status, whatever it sends, now you can build a notification using, uh, using the conditions and using these, uh, this information that comes with the, with the new message. I'm sorry, I'm closing the window. Uh, there's a noise, a noise from outside. Um, next change uh, is closely related to, to users and to, uh, to creating users. Up to now, you had to uh, sign up uh, from top menu or you, have, you had to ask uh, your clients to do a sign up. 
uh, with a new release, you will be able to create a new subgroup under your account and invite a new users inside that group with specific uh, permissions. Uh, so the user will just receive uh, a notification, uh, receive, receive, sorry, will receive an email with an invitation and uh, he will click on the, she will click on the link, uh, finish uh, the sign up process, enter uh, his, her own uh, password. So it's like super secure. You don't have to, uh, you know, now down, down the passwords of your users uh, or clients and finish the process and just sign in. And from the time he or she will have an access to the group that you specify. So for B2B, uh, for B2B scenarios, um, this should work much better than, uh, than today. Because typically, you have a client, it's a company, they have uh, 15, uh, 15 people that should have a different access to your uh, to specific group. So you just send them an invitation, they accept it, and boom, they will have an access. If you remove an access from, from your group uh, after they log in, or refresh the screen, uh, they won't see anything. So it's like saying like when you want to add a, uh, if you want, if you want to add a, um, access to, to SAP or CRM or other enterprise systems. Uh, the last the last change for uh, for bigger uh, partners is uh, API documentation. So uh, even today you were able to access. Uh, our database uh, using uh, API from out, from outside, but now we try to uh, provide you like better documentation uh, in standard uh, open API uh, free zero uh, format. Uh, the uh, the presentation layer uh, is same uh, you know from uh, backend sigfox.com, so you should be you know, familiar with that. So you will see like. When you want to receive uh, the devices that you have access to, you can use all these parameters. You will see how the output uh, looks like, etc. So more, uh, let's say more, 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 more professional description of API. So uh, less, uh, less issue with, with 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 onboarding. Let me check the chat window because so, no, I hope that everything is fine and you still hear me. So yeah, uh, this was the this was the list. Um, in the in the in the invitation, uh, there was uh, there, there was a link to uh, to a web page. Uh, hopefully she, you, you see it now on my screen uh, that uh, when, if you click on it you you can read and go through all uh, all changes. And if everything goes right, I will try to show uh, some of them in our uh, from our preview server uh, that hopefully is is, um, is stable and, and running. We never we never know. It's not production, so sorry if we, if we see an issue uh, an issue here. So the biggest change you will see on Monday is on in in the top menu you will now see the name of the group you are currently in the name of current group. If you click on it, you will see uh, free sub-menu items, uh, billing information, settings, uh, and change the, change the group. Uh, you see the impact as, or, or we wanted to, to make the impact as, as, as minimal as, as possible, so people are not confused with, with, with new complexity. Uh, so you will be able to uh, change the group. So, for example, now you see that my group, as David, is the first one. This is my own group. I have a prime access to. It. But other people uh, are sharing devices with me. Uh, they maybe for, for for some support or some for, for, from some other reasons. So, uh, if they if they share the devices for me, it means that they provided an access to me, to their group. So what you will see here is just not your group, but if somebody else is sharing a group with you, you will see, uh, you will see other groups here inside this list. 
uh, the groups are currently named uh, based on the based on the user, but this is not this is not a list of usernames. This is a list of the of the groups. Just by coincidence, today they have the same name after migration, but people will have a uh, uh, possibility to change the, na the, the names later. So you just uh, choose the group, and then you see devices that are currently inside the group. These are testing testing data, so it's a bit of mess here. You see that some devices are expired. Some of them are um, uh, are working. Uh, back, to, back to this menu, uh, if you go to settings, then you see that here again are the same groups as you've seen. And I can uh, uh, I can choose one, select one, and now you see uh, that this group uh, that, that these people have access to my group, right? So it's the opposite opposite side. So I I've chosen my group. Now I see users that have an access to to my group. So you see that not just me, I'm an owner, and obviously I have access to all devices, but also these three people have an access to my own group because I uh, I gave them an access. This is how it will look like after the migration. Uh, but now you will be, then you will be able to change permissions. So in the case I say maybe for, for Jakub, uh, I want to ch change uh, permission. So I uh, at this moment, he can see only one uh, one device I was sharing with him uh, before migration. Maybe I can say, okay, I can. Uh, I want to share all devices um, inside my group, and I can say, okay, uh, Jakub, uh, I I don't want him to have an access for group management because you know he's just a guest, he's a, he's a visitor. Uh, he cannot. Uh, he cannot change the, the the users that have an access, but maybe he uh, should have uh, ability to update my device because he's a uh, device manager of this device, or I don't know, for for whatever reason. Uh, then, uh, but but still, if I uh, allow him to uh, update device, I do not allow him to uh, to send a new downlinks and to change the settings. Uh, of physical device, but uh, yeah, maybe you know I trust him, uh, so I give him a uh, full uh, permissions to downlink, so we can change a uh, downlink. Uh, but I don't I definitely want him to see uh, connectivity details. Um, uh, he should have an access to uh, tags, uh, geoplaces, notification rules, uh, public channels. But maybe definitely not to for weddings. I don't want him to see uh, to see uh, credentials that are inside of for weddings because I'm forwarding it to, for example, to Google server and for wedding uh, shows shows all the details. And I don't want him to to see it. Uh, I don't want to see. To, I, I want, don't want to allow him to do API, API calls. Uh, no diagnostic data. No SQL data because SQL data is very sensitive. That it contains. Uh, PAC code. Uh, so if I, you know, if 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 I give him an access, he, you know, he can be trainee and um, use a PAC code and transfer device to somebody else. Uh, no access to to SMS credits, for example, right? So th this kind of tool you will get with the new version. So you can specify like who can you know uh, have an access to uh, to what features. So, um, my wife is going. Uh, so this is about user uh, user permissions. Then uh, you can uh, you can see uh, devices that are uh, currently inside the group. You still have to use add device uh, to uh, to add new device to this particular group. But here you see all devices inside the group, and you will be able to move devices to another group. Because I say, OK, I will handle, uh, I, I want to give these three devices to Ivo, for example. Uh, I can move uh, these devices to him, so he will become an owner of, of, of these devices. Uh, just give me a sec, please.
I'm sorry. Um, so uh, this is how to manage uh, users. This is how to manage uh, uh, devices. And then I mentioned that the features that you had on a user level are now moved to group level. So this is why we are inside group still. We are still inside the group management. And now you see text here. Uh, you see geoplaces here. Uh, notification rules, public channels, and data forwarding to other uh, to other servers. So uh, if you go one by one, you see that after migration, you, you will see a favorites, but favorites is now nothing special. It's just one of the tags that you can you can maybe delete or or continue using it. You can define other other tags as you like. And uh, still on this page, you will be able to adjust devices that belongs uh, or, or that, that are using these uh, these tags. Uh, so you don't have to go to any device settings. You don't have to go to, to another page. Everything you can manage from uh, uh, fr from this place. Same with geoplaces. Uh, you define uh, geoplaces uh, here. You add them, delete them, and that's it. Uh, notification rules. I will uh, stop for a while here and uh, give you more details. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, you can define a new real, new new role. It's a new new rule. So uh, you just put a name. You can choose, uh, or you have to choose uh, manufacturer. We are hosted by Simple Hardware, so I will choose uh, Simple Pack for example. This one. You can add more uh, recipients. Uh, it doesn't allow me to. To save it because the emails are not uh, not not correct. Uh, here you can uh, specify the template. Uh, so you see that below the standard template that uh, we used up to now, but you can uh, change that to, for example, SOS message and in the subject view SOS from this device at uh, this time, for example, right? So you change the subject, you can change the message, obviously for different for different channels, uh, you will see uh, different fields. You have to be careful that messages to, uh, to SMS can be truncated, um, but yeah, you, you, are, you, are, you are free to, to change the template here using these uh, four simple um, variables. And then uh, you can specify the conditions under which this notification will be sent to recipients. So you can add the rules. You can choose from all keys that are um, uh, that uh, can be received from this device. Doesn't mean that all these keys are sent in every message. No way, right? So devices are very different. Some devices send uh, uh, this information in this message, but in another message. So, for example, in one message you have a temperature, but in another other message you have uh, uh, only the pressure or the heartbeat uh, without any other details, right? So you just have to be careful with that. So, but you can you can specify any uh, any key here. So, for example, let's let's take with the, with the action and say, okay, I'm the SOS. Uh, will be sent only when the user does a double press and a long press. And then and we add another rule. Uh, let's say maybe uh, we want to send SOS message only if temperature is uh, greater than 30 degrees of Celsius. And then you can continue. So you can put like more, more conditions here and define um, under which conditions you want our server to send the notification. Uh, later in next next releases, uh, we will add more features here. So you'll be able to maybe specify time, uh, day in a week you want to send notifications, and uh, maybe other uh, other rules based on the priorities and based on based on your 
um, based on the requests uh, that, that, that like, based for your needs. So we will see where it goes, but it, it definitely gives us more opportunities and more more flexibility in defining uh, all these um, all, all these things. So this is you know, shortly about uh, notification rules. Public channels are more or less same. Um, you can see that, like in every definition on a group level, there is this kind of button that says we want to publish all devices in a group uh, of my name. Uh, it means that whenever somebody add or remove a device to this group or from this group, uh, the rule will be applied to all devices inside the group. Uh, but maybe in, in this case, you don't want this behavior, so you uh, switch it off, and then you will have uh, you have to uh, say, okay, I want, even, even if I specify on a group level, I still want to limit public channel only for these two devices and nothing else, and, and that's it. So this is how you create uh, public channels. Data for wording, alias uh, uh, web hooks, there are different names uh, for, this, uh, uh, for this feature. We try to uh, simplify the form, even it's like still a bit complex, but this is for advanced users who understand REST API and who wants to uh, resend uh, uh, messages to another server, maybe to, for some BI processing or as a backup or you know, whatever you want to do that. Uh, so you specify a name or a forward. Uh, at this moment, there's just a custom, uh, custom type, but later on, we will add more specific types to make it more easy to forward messages, for example, to Azure or uh, AWS or to some, some popular uh, servers. Here, you will specify URL. There's only one method supported post. Uh, you can add a, a basic authentication. Uh, again, you can say, OK, I want to forward all messages from all devices in my group. Or I can select uh, for only this uh, four, for example. You can add any number of custom uh, custom headers. For example, authorization, content type, you know, any token you need to to add. So hopefully, it's flexible enough for you to uh, forward messages to other servers, to uh, backend systems, or wherever you uh, wherever you need to do. Um, so this is about groups, users, uh, permissions, uh, group features. Uh, one important change that that should uh, that you should keep in mind is that uh, up to now uh, the shopping cart and billing details there were uh, sitting on a user level. We are changing this as well. So even shopping cart and orders are now on a group level which means that once you add uh, something to shopping cart on a group level and other people have an access to your group, to the cart, it depends on permissions, they will see the items in the cart. Same with the orders. You buy something, it will be added to orders, but not to orders on the user level because there are no orders on the user level anymore but to order us uh, uh, on, on the group level, right? So this also helps uh, for um, support of big, bigger, bigger customers. Uh, hopefully, like small uh, end or just general end users, they have five, six devices and they're working with us, they would not recognize uh, all these bigger change because all the time, general customer sign in, he will just see uh, in 99%, he will see his own, uh, own group, which is the same group as, a, as the group for the cart, for the shopping cart, for the orders. So he doesn't have to basically do anything and still see the, see the same. But if you have more clients, if you are a white label partner, then you have all these 
um, all these features that give you a bigger flexibility to manage uh, devices, manage uh, users, uh, and the uh, and other stuff. So that's it. This is, I think, more or less. Uh, back to back to dashboards. They're more or less same. We you know, uh, we change some a few things a little bit to make it more visible for you. Like there's a um, uh, screen telling you that uh, your platform access expired, so it motivates you, you know, to uh, uh, to to extend. Uh, the connectivity you can search by by the tags. You can search by uh, manufacturers and then by specific uh, device types. If you have access to more groups, uh, you can uh, turn off this kind of like a magic button because everything you do on a screen uh, is limited to the group you have selected here in the top in the top uh, right corner. Uh, but if you switch this button on, uh, it's kind of, you, you're going to override, uh, override the current group. So then uh, we will try to uh, search devices uh, through different groups, even if uh, they are not in these current groups, uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah, we will search all devices that you have an, an, an access to. So if you are trying to find some, uh, some, uh, some, some device and you do not know in which group it is, uh, but you are sure that you have an access to this device. You just type ID, name, uh, turn this button on, and then, uh, you can, you can find, you can find it. Uh, hopefully, uh, all, uh, especially these diagnostics dashboards, like, uh, this uh, message feeder, or um, this dashboard are much more faster. We have a copy of production now, uh, so they are full, full, full data, and you see that it's much, much more faster than today. Uh, you may experience in, in in production, especially if you have if you have uh, devices with uh, thousands, thousands of messages that are already in, in the history. Uh, the, the process was. Uh, slower and slower with the with the with the current uh, with the current version. So we we try to uh, to optimize the queries and optimize the performance to give you a better user experience. So back to uh, chat window here. Um, so basically, this is it. Uh, this is this is these are the changes. They, they should be big for general customer. They should be, you know, uh, they are, they are uh, aimed to to our uh, bigger customers that manage a larger number of, of, of devices. So hopefully, you guys will uh, benefit uh, from it and, and and the performance and the notification. So these these three things uh, is something we 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 try to focus uh, focus on. So maybe uh, you can uh, uh, start some questions if you have um, that I will try to uh, to answer. If you have any, uh, uh, some some practical stuff. Um, we will try to do migration on Sunday from nine p.m. Uh, Central European summertime. I there is a, uh, there is some ch transformation or something that some trans uh, migration scripts that have to be running uh, uh, in in the background and uh, we have to turn off the the services for some time. Uh, hopefully, uh, the outage will be minimum and the impact uh, will be minimum and they will see everything fine um, on Monday morning. If not, uh, I do uh, apologize if you experience any uh, any issue after the migration, and please uh, send us a feedback on Monday. We will try to do the best um, and to fix um, uh, everything as as soon as possible. We will be in full alert um, during the, the the weekend and and Monday for sure. Uh, there's a question, um, number one, can you explain the way public channel work? Okay, um, basically, 
how it works is not changed uh, with the new uh, version, uh, but maybe uh, you don't have an experience uh, with this feature. Public channel allows you to share devices without any restriction, just publicly with anybody who has an access to this URL. Uh, because the standard sharing works in, in such a way that you can share with, with, uh, with the users uh, that are already uh, inside IO Frog. But maybe you have devices with uh, air pollution and you want to share it with your uh, municipality in your city. Uh, then yeah, you can do that and you just publish this link and anybody who can who clicks on the link will see uh, will see devices. Uh, these device there is there's a, there is a key rule uh, for public channels and it says that uh, the, the people who has an, who have an access to public to devices in public channel cannot change anything and they do not see any sensitive data. So it's mainly about um, messages and about uh, uh, about what the, this device is sending uh, uh, so no no settings no no updates no deletion and nothing nothing like that so this is how public channels works the the new thing that comes with iofrog 20 is that you uh, set up it in, in one place uh, and you manage it just from, from one screen which is more uh, more convenient especially if you have more devices Uh, well, we do recording. Uh, yeah, Natalie, she was so kind and she's, she's recording it. So thank you for that. Uh, yeah, uh, she will uh, share uh, the recorded video with you. So yeah, uh, and if you have any questions, just you're you are welcome to, to send us uh, send us an email. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you, Natalie. Thank you for, uh, for recording it. Any other question? No, it looks like everybody everybody is uh, satisfied so far, so good. And yeah, um, um, we open. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. Um, it's a big change for us. So hopefully it will be it will be working uh, working fine. And you find the new features uh, useful, and you will um, you will benefit from from them uh, during next weeks. So I think that's it. That's it, guys. So thank you, everybody. Uh, have a nice weekend. Uh, enjoy it. And uh, maybe I'll see you next time um, on, uh, on other webinar. Uh, thank you again to uh, Simple Hardware, who is uh, hosting it and um, uh, helping, helping us with, with, with many things that yeah, they, they do. Uh, they do great devices, so, so I'm sure you're already familiar with them, but yeah, check, 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 check the news. So yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And um, nice weekend to everybody. Stay safe. Bye-bye.